Luke Bouchard here, and this is today's Forgiveness Declaration, Draw and Reading of the Reduction. 69. I forgive myself for believing in suffering. Okay, let's look at what I wrote here. How hard is it to believe that we are not a body, especially with all the evidence to the contrary? One of the best supports for this belief that we are a body dream is pleasure and pain. Desire and anguish serve the same purpose, to keep our focus off our connection with God and in the undergrowth. And this is the quote I chose from A Course in Miracles. Pain demonstrates the body must be real. It is loud, obscuring voice who shrieks with silence what the Holy Spirit says uh, and keep his words from your awareness. Pain compels attention, drawing it from him and focusing upon itself. Its purpose is the same as pleasure, for they are both, for they are both means to make the body real. I'm going to admit I do not like this concept. It does not sit well with me that basically this is an illusion, and that base that you know we are that it, it's not real. Um, because I have a lot of evidence. I have a lot of evidence that my body is real. I, I have a, a knee that is uh, not very good, although it's getting better. I have hearing and loss of hearing in one ear, and I'm I'm you know I'm I'm overweight and. And uh, as, I, as I get closer and closer to 60, which is, well, that's actually next year, you know, I, I'm noticing things like my body slowing down and I'm just, I just don't have it. So, uh, you know, uh, it's, I don't, I'm not fully on board with this, that believing that, you know, this is just basically not true and the body is just a function of my belief system. I'm working on it. So... I, I get it. I get it. But I, I don't want to use that as an excuse to not connect with God and to, to believe in it so much that I'm going to disregard my connection to God. I, I just have to, this particular concept, I have to put over here and just focus on my daily practices and my, uh, my communion with God every day through the Holy Spirit. This image... Yeah, I, I really uh, <laughs> thought that this image fit for believing in suffering because what we have here is a leaf that is, uh, doesn't look very whole, pun intended. Uh, looks holy, but not in a good way. And, um, you know, it's, I, if I was a leaf, I'd, be, I'd have a hard time not believing in, believe in suffering. And, and, you know, I guess the, the best thing I can say with this or the thing that really comes that comes to mind that might offshoot this is when I've been in emotional pain and asked to see it differently and hand it over to the Holy Spirit, actually my emotional pain went away. So, you know, there's a there's a part of me that does actually believe that my physical pain can go away. And uh, the one example I just want to use about my emotional pain is uh, about half a year ago, I was uh, certain that my uh, daughter, who still lives with me, who is now in high school, she was in grade nine last year, was going to want to move out to her mother's. And I was <clears throat> absolutely convinced. And I was pretty pissed off at my ex-wife and the mother of my children. And uh, I, I think I was in hell for three days where I was, I was just, I was so mad. I didn't confront her, I didn't talk to her about it. I knew that that wasn't a good thing to do. And, um, and then I, I finally remembered that I hadn't forgiven her. I hadn't forgiven what I believed was her transgressions. And I, I was, you know, in the knee deep, knee deep in the belief, knee deep. I was, you know, up to here believing that basically I was being conspired against. And, and I asked to forgive and I asked to see it differently. And then about 20 minutes later, I got this thought and the thought was that I married this woman in the first place because I knew she'd always put our kids first and that she'd always take make sure that our kids well-being was was at like at the paramount of her concern and when I thought of that then I realized oh she's just doing what she thinks is right for our daughter 
she's doing what she believes is necessary regardless of what i believe is going on i had no doubt that she was putting our daughter first and when i thought of that all my suffering went away all my pain went away because then i realized i was just i you know that there was no intent my way negative intent my way there was nothing there was no machiavellian or nefarious kind of thing going on it was all my own projection and my own belief and um and once it got settled out it was exactly that all a projection on my part and my daughter never wanted to move out that was never the issue there was other stuff going on that had nothing to do with me tortured what else is new suffering is a choice emotional suffering and mental suffering is a choice and the way we get out of it is by praying meditating coming to our center and asking the holy spirit to see it differently it has worked for me so much that i i uh, you know i have no doubt it could work for you too all the best god bless and until the next reduction.